Dear friends, welcome to Culinary Hub. Today I am preparing the king of all the biryanis that is Hyderabadi Mutton Dam Biryani. Without further delays, let's begin the action. I have kept all the ingredients needed ready and the important thing is the homemade garam masala. Please check the description section for the details. To begin with, I'll start seasoning the mutton with salt. Followed by adding the meat tenderizer yogurt. Followed by ginger paste. And then garlic paste. To tenderize the meat further, I'll be adding the paste of raw papaya followed by red chilli powder, turmeric powder, coriander seed powder, cumin seed powder and our homemade garam masala powder. and the juice of one whole lemon and few whole spices like cloves green cardamom give it a mix followed by adding one flour of maize and a little amount of black stone flour. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly and allow the meat to get marinated for 4 to 5 hours. Now let us begin the other process by washing and soaking our long grain rice. followed by soaking the strands of saffron in a small bowl with a little quantity of warm milk. Then heat up around half a cup of oil in a pot and start frying the sliced onions. I have taken three large thinly sliced onions. This should be fried till the onions are golden brown in color. Once the onions are golden brown in color, it is time to take it out from the oil. Mutton has been marinated thoroughly. I will add a handful of fried brown onion by gently crushing it. The pot in which I fried the onion, I have a little amount of oil left out in it. I will not discard that oil. I will start laying the marinated mutton along with the masalas that is our yakni into the pot. Meanwhile, I will be heating up around 1.5 litre of water and infuse it with whole dry spices and few green chilies a little amount of mint leaves and coriander leaves. I'll add salt and to prevent the rice from sticking, a little amount of cooking oil will go into the pot, followed by adding the washed and soaked long grain rice. And I'll just cook this for around 5 minutes, drain out the water and keep the rice ready. It is the time to layer our biryani. I'll start by putting up one layer of this cooked rice over the mutton yakni. We should be very quick with this process without allowing 
too much of the smoke to escape. Once you have put up enough amount of rice, you can follow up by adding a handful of fried brown onions over the rice and continue till you have added all the rice into the pot. Then it is time to add a little amount of ghee over the rice. Followed by saffron soaked in milk. Give a sprinkle of fresh ground cardamom powder. Add few mint leaves and chopped coriander leaves. To seal the pot, I'll be using little amount of dough that has been kneaded. And sprinkle little more freshly ground garam masala over the rice and seal the pot tightly with the lid. And place it on low flame for around 10 minutes. Then I'll be heating a skillet and place the pot over the skillet and cook on a low flame for around half an hour. And I've taken care no steam escapes. After 10 minutes of resting the pot, cut open the seal carefully. And our lovely fragrant biryani is ready for serving. The grains are fluffy and the aroma is irresistible. Please click the like button for this recipe. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we post new videos. Thank you.